All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Luck. You show them One Bar Vikings preseason in the books. 3-0, and baby. Uh, Vikings will be making final cuts in just a couple days. So we're going to rip out a Vikings final 53-man projection. Remember this brought to you by BetUS. Uh, 125% bonus on your first three deposits up to 2000 bucks. Fantastic customer service. Fast payouts. BetUS is the best out there. Uh, just looking right now. I love doing their season awards. Uh, they're my favorite. They're the most fun. And uh, just looking at the season awards here, we got Coach of the Year, and they got Kevin O'Connell at plus 1,800. Love because you like plus 1,800? I do like that. I like that really? quite a bit. How about the Offensive Rookie of the Year? That's what I'd like. I'll take whatever they have for Dallas Turner. Offensive Kevin. for Dallas Turner, I think it's plus 400. Uh, you'll have to check to make sure. But Offensive Player of the Year, they have Justin Jefferson at plus 900. I like that one. I like yeah. it a lot. Really? Link down in the description, Bet US again, 125% bonus on your first three deposits. Let's look at the Vikings 53. Yes, the preseason is over. It is time to make final cuts. And we're going to do it first before the Vikings do it on Tuesday, which we will be going live uh, prior to the final cuts being in. So be sure to check that out. And I think we, got, I think we did pretty well. We did pretty well. There's definitely still some question marks. And this is a new one. We got Jaron Hall making it. We've always had two. Two quarterbacks, but Jaron Hall sneaks in, and I think that's pending whatever his injury is. Yeah, hopefully he's okay. I know he has some kind of leg issue going on. That's all we really heard during the broadcast. I don't know if he updated that at a press conference or not. But, uh, yeah, three quarterbacks here. Jaron Hall showed enough in the last two games. Looked horrible the first one, came out and, and played well the last two. I think this is a guy they want to continue to develop. And maybe, you know, in a, in a perfect world, J.J. McCarthy is starting quarterback, and Jaron Hall is a quality backup. Wow, that would be beautiful. Uh, he is still developing, just like me. Mm -hmm. Running backs, we haven't really changed this up at all. Mo Ibrahim is the only newly added name to the cut list, unfortunately. Uh, but nothing, I mean, this is going to be it. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be interesting to see if Debo gets to the practice squad or if it's Miles Gaskin. I, I hope it's not McBride. I think we've both seen enough of him. Miles Gaskin looked beautiful yesterday. I'd love if he was our practice squad running back. Uh, stay tuned as well. We're going to be doing a projection for the Vikings practice squad, 16-player practice squad. I feel good about that one. Wide receiver, we got him keeping five. It's been the same five. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe somebody sneaks in, but... Yeah, if they do decide to go six here, probably the veteran Trent Sherfield could be the man in. I know they're high in Deshaun Jones, but to me, he feels like a practice squatter. So, Lucky Jackson did flash too. So, maybe one more, but I really think they're just going to keep five. Let me see your face. If they, if you are on Twitter on Tuesday and you see Trishan Jackson has been released, what are your face going to be? <laughs> my still, pants will come I'm, off. I'm still weirdly worried about that one. He should make it. He, he, he deserved it. He looks great. Yeah. He looked great. Uh, yes. Let's go to tight ends. Uh, TJ Hawkins is starting off on IR. These three seem solidified. Mm -hmm. Really, no, no one down here gave anybody a run for their money. No, Bob Tanya wasn't healthy. Nikhil Harry couldn't quite adjust. And Samus Reyes will be on the roster because he's that, you know, NFL Europe exemption uh, player. All right, let's go to the offensive line. Here's where uh, a few changes have been made. So we, we don't see Dalton Reiser on the make list. He's on the cut, Ski. Hasn't been healthy, hasn't been able to practice. Tyrese Robinson looked good yesterday. Uh, Michael Jurgens up and down, but I think he looked pretty solid yesterday. Enough there. I know they're super high on him. I think they keep him around. And, uh, yeah, I think this, this again, there is some surprises here. Dan Feeney sticking around. I wasn't sure if he'd make it, but he seems like his spot's pretty solidified as well. Yeah, Jurgens, I think it's just really lack of options. Uh, we'll see. Doug Nestor, uh, I, I hope he's on the practice squad. I, I kind of like, I kind of like Douglas. But Tyrese Robinson. I think he yeah. played damn good. Delton, our boy, yeah. loves Tyrese Robinson. Yeah, he, I think he ordered his jersey, actually. Let's go to the defensive line where we got him keeping six. Six. We've always had five, but Taki Tayami is playing out, out, of his, out of his shorts. He made him definitely think about it. Levi Drake Rodriguez is a lock, no doubt about that. Uh, and then you look at the guys, Bullard, Phillips, Hillary Williams, none of these guys played yesterday, so they all seem like they're very safe. Um I think this might be it. Again, Tyam Tayman is the only one that could go either way here. Yeah, and uh, I think Jalen Redman is a sneaky one to watch as mm -hmm. well. Uh, we got Ja'Kalen Roy, James Lynch out. And Jonah Williams is kind of – there's some some Vikings – follow the Vikings say, ah, he's, he's in. Some are saying he's out. I hope he's in. I don't know. I don't know Kevin O'Connell loves him. Some former Rams. He does. They're, they're, they're like, like Johnny Munt. Like, he ain't going anywhere. Nope. And that's what Jonah Williams – Defense edge. Let's go to the edge. Five. Yeah. 
a position last time we did this we thought they may keep six maybe even seven um but we got to cut down to five right now as as exciting as bo richter was i think he's a practice squatter um and obviously he's he going against the raiders had a sack against the browns and kind of didn't do much after that own porter's probably been a little bit more consistent as an all-around defender Andre carter finally flashed um last week but i just think he, these are the five they're going to keep you still got a good rotation there and then you got these guys. I, I think all three, Carter, Porter, and Richter, end up on the practice squad. Yeah, I think uh, so. Ward, a guy that they love, that they can move up on the defensive line. He can play edge. He's just ginormous. We saw his pants like almost bursting off of his mm-hmm. body. He's so big. Mm-hmm. So they love him. I think if anybody were to sneak out, I think it would be Andre Carter or Porter over Richter. So uh, yeah. the Richter scale, look forward to him marinating on that practice squad. But he's, he's fun to watch, but I, he does have a lot of bad plays mixed in with his good plays. Bo Rick, let's go to inside linebacker. We got Dallas freaking Gant making the squad. Dallas Gant, he's he's earned it. He's deserved it. Get this man on the 53, Kevin O'Connell. Wow. Wow. So that is our second undrafted free agent rookie making this team. Uh, Dallas Gant, yeah, I'd much rather keep him than Brian Asimov, which we all know what we get there. A fast guy who gets in the backfield, doesn't make tackles, gets washed out in blocks. Uh, I've seen enough of Asimov. Dallas Gant, he's just a beast out there. Camus Grigier Hill, didn't even play yesterday, didn't need to. He's made this team. Yeah, Gant uh, would be a wonderful addition to the special teams as well. Mm-hmm. We know Najee Thompson uh, is on the IR, so uh, we need a demon. But Gant, let's go, baby. Let's go to cornerback. This one was tough. Like we got a Caleb Evans making it. I don't know. I don't know if he's going to make it. But uh, like, like Michael Jurgens, there's it's just lack of options. Lack of options, and I feel like this could be a position where someone else is brought in. Absolutely. The only one, the only three I feel good about are the top three, and I love Nudie. So I think there's. I think four Nudie's in. Yeah, there's four here I really like. Uh, Moreau probably makes it, and then it's that you know that six spot. Is it going to be a Caleb Evans? Are they going to give up on him? I don't think they will, as much as we all would like them to. Uh, but yeah, it's just it gets kind of gross, kind of fast here at cornerback. Yeah, I I think Nudie's a lock, so don't put too much into this order because I would put Nudie under Shaq Griffin as far as. But uh, they do like Jalen Williams too. We'll see. Safeties, safeties only four. Only Again, four. It's, yeah, Jay Ward, uh, Lewis Seen. Uh, Lupagus is, was on the Lewis Seen train last week. He quickly hopped back off of it, and he is on the cut list. I still think it's very close. Like, I wouldn't be surprised I if you think it's five and Lewis Seen is the guy. Uh, Jay Ward, Lewis Seen, that's where I was really having a hard time when I did my one. Uh, I think I kept one of those guys. I think it was Jay Ward, but Jay Ward hasn't done anything. Lewis Seen had one good game, and then he kind of just faded out one again One good yesterday. preseason game. He did, and he destroyed that preseason game. Let's not forget that. Um, but, yeah, I think it's going to be four, and Brian Flores, I don't know if he's going to like it or not, but I really think this is the way it's going to look on Tuesday. Well, this could be – the safety could be like the corner where they keep four and then bring somebody else in because he does love him some safety, some safeties. Uh, Bobby Bobby McCain might actually be one that sneaks on. Like, Jay Ward – just we've said it multiple times when you're trying to move him to different positions and he's still struggling it's like they're just trying to find somewhere for this guy to go i hate the fact mm-hmm. that they're giving up on him already but sometimes you just gotta yank the cord yank the ward get it yeah yank the ward fourth round pick that uh yeah might only last one year here in purple Lewis. i'm sure he'll still go into practice squad well stay tuned to our video uh special teams we got the best kicker ever yeah uh, that has ever been in the nfl Ryan Wright had a doozy of a preseason game yesterday in Depola. So uh, that is the 53. There was some rumblings of the Vikings maybe looking at punters uh, who are out there. Uh, they the, probably the Ryan should. Looks so bad. Uh, yeah. I love Ryan Wright, but they probably should be looking. He may make the initial 53, but uh, once the, the other punters are released, maybe they make a swap there. Vikings have done it before. Uh, so we'll see. If I'm Ryan Wright, I'm not feeling safe. No. No, he uh, he had a turd, but that is our 53. Uh, we'll be going live on Tuesday during the cuts. We're going to be doing a special uh, special teams practice squad video projection as well. And remember, this is brought to you by BetUS. Link down in the description. And remember, the first tortillas were made 10,000 years B.C. Oh, 